What is going on guys? Today we are going into more adventures in Alpha 1 or pre-Alpha 1, whatever you want to call it. But before we get started, I just want to say, have you seen these plushies? I mean, look at these guys. I feel like Ashes is going to do merch right. Kind of like the Blizzard store. I think Blizzard does really good things with their collectible stuff and things like that and their gear. And I really hope Ashes goes the same way so I can waste all of my money on it and get all of these little plushies of the cosmetic skins and this troll mug that I'll probably break. I feel like I'm gonna snap those ears right off the first time I drink coffee out of it. Anyways, last week's alpha test. So, didn't play that much again. Um, it was for two days last week. I was working for most of both days. Except for the second day, I would have had time to play, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So during these tests, the main focus again was to help fix the server issues that they have been having because they've had this scene where the servers decay over time and it has something to do with when you kill an NPC, it doesn't actually disappear from the server. It's just invisible and all of these NPCs just start collecting up and the more you kill, the more the server starts to die. Something like that. That might not be exactly. There's also mysterious walls popping up when nodes develop and they were focused on trying to figure out why these were popping up. But so in these tests, all they had us do was general questing, exploration, and traversal through the world. All character progression was wiped once again, which you know, alpha is alpha. So yeah, so I jumped in, made another mage, because I really like the mage. I think the mage might be my favorite for now until the ranger comes in or the bard. Like, I really just want to play a bard because even in MMOs I've played that have had bards, I've never actually played them. And I think it'd be kind of cool, especially when I can combine it with like a summoner and it'd be a bard summoner that brings, I don't know, like little musical dancing skeletons to life. Who freaking knows? But anyways, so yeah. There wasn't much different in these testing, but I feel the need to make a video for you guys just to give you, talk about some of the changes and what's happening. They were gonna do Castle Siege changes, but that leads into the day two problem. Maybe two hours into the testing on day two, right before I was about to jump on actually, they had what they called a critical error that they had to bring down the servers immediately for the end of testing. This was due because Steven was taking a little risks and maybe approving some builds that weren't as polished to get some more castle testing sieges in and one of those had a critical bug in it. So castle siege testing didn't happen that week. Hopefully it happens in tomorrow's testing because I really want to play that. It looks awesome. The video they put up in the live stream last month looked absolutely amazing and I really want to get into it and actually drive around siege weapons in Storm Castle. Yeah, so going on my adventures, played the mage, went through the starting area, and I just set out to explore this time around. So a few things that I haven't talked about before that are in the alpha is one, the XP debt. When you die, you get an XP debt, and you have to make up that XP debt before continuing on with leveling on the traditional bar. So essentially there's two bars. There's your XP bar and then there's the red bar that's the XP debt. And you have to make the red bar go away completely before your XP bar will progress again. Which, you know, is very early stages. They said they're still working on it. In a sense, we're a game that is meant to take forever to level. Like it's not supposed to be a quick leveling experience in the final game. I feel like an XP debt might be a bit overkill because now you're adding even more frustration into that. But if it's done right, then who knows? Also, when you die, you lose a percentage of your core resources. So your ores or your wood or your trees, those get dropped which I'm okay with. I like having some risk around death, some penalty, but I don't know if the XP debt is quite what I'm thinking. But, you know, we'll wait and see how it continues to progress. I just tried to get my feedback. But anyways, I set out to explore throughout the world. And it's funny because as I was exploring, I've seen posts about this before, but I haven't run into them myself. But, but you remember last year when these strange monoliths were just popping up in Utah, I think. Utah or Idaho, something around those lines. Well, Intrepid put in a little Easter egg, and I ran into one of these monoliths just sitting in the world, and I thought it was hilarious, which I'm going to try to find again when the NDA drops, just, just to show it, because it looks exactly like the one that was popped up, the picture's on the screen now. Um, that's not the picture in the game, that's the picture of the monolith in whatever state it was. I think it was Utah. I don't remember. 
but cool little easter egg there so you can tell there are going to be some random easter eggs in the world but anyways going through my exploration i went into the underrealm which we've seen basically the whole of what the underrealm is in the alpha in steven's very first 4k video he put out and it's not much originally you need a cleric to cast a certain ability to get in there that has gone away i don't know if that's a temporary thing or down the road that cleric's gonna need to cast that ability again to get into the underrealm i don't know but you go down there there's some bright fluorescent like plants and walls and creatures and all this stuff and then there's this boss dude in the middle currently there's no loot table so the boss didn't drop anything but we've seen the fight before a little bit in the video i'll actually play it right now it's kind of a cool looking guy but other than that i also tried to swim across the continent instead of taking the little teleporter thing there which you can at one point on the far left of the map it's not as big of a distance so i swam across there no issues i feel like you can just swim across the rest of it if you wanted to i don't there's not really any loading screens there's nothing separating you i don't think so you know, if you want to go for a nice long swim, there's no, like, water creatures or anything in there yet to kill you. There's no fatigue, nothing. Which, I mean, water traversal is going to be a big part, so I don't expect a fatigue system like WoW has or invisible walls or anything like that. You should be able to cross from point A to point B without hitting a loading screen. But anyways, that's basically what I did this time around. Just some exploration because I didn't really have that much time, like I said, to jump in, especially with the servers getting taken down like three hours early, four hours early. And I think, did they also, yeah, they also went up three hours late that day that they got taken down early. So there was not a lot of time to play that day at all. Anyways, what are you looking forward to in Alpha 1? What are your thoughts on the plushies actually? How, what do you think about the plushies? Are you gonna buy a plushie? Because I'm gonna buy a plushie, I'll buy all the plushies. I like collecting things, that's just what I do. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't seen this badass looking armor in the latest cosmetic set, link is in the description below if you wanna go buy yourself into Alpha 1. You don't have to though, all cosmetics are just cosmetics, they're no pay to win, and there'll also be badass looking cosmetics in the game as well. So don't get too stressed about it if you don't have the money. If you do wanna buy something though, you feel free to use my referral link in the description below if you haven't made an account yet. And that's about all I have. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.